Yo, welcome back to the Wolfsburg career. It's not even the career, it's more just, just Wolf Wolfsburg, ain't it? Just Wolfsburg on FM's old K. Bruh. Mate, this has been one of the funnest series I've done in a long time. It's just been, it's just been, just been chilled. Um, so we, we, you saw that win there. You saw that win. Uh, so FC Ingolast, we beat them 2-0 away. Um, Acuous scored a goal in the 72nd minute. And Max Cruz scored a goal in the 87th minute. This guy is just not, we'll talk about Max Cruz in a minute. Um, against, um, Kaiser Slaughter, I think they called in the DFB podcast second round. We beat them 2 0. Sherla scoring and the new youngster coming onto the Bundesliga scene, Azu Azayui. Um, he's, 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 you'll see his name a few times now. Uh, against Stuttgart in the league here, we drew 1 1. Kind of disappointing, but again, Azayui scores in the 60th minute, so he's, he's getting his confidence now. So it's nice that I've kind of slowly introduced Azayui into the uh, Bundesliga into the Bundesliga and into the Wolfsburg squad because he was actually in the second team moved him up to the under 19s he played in the under 19s for maybe a few games and then my scout recommended or my assistant manager I think it was he recommended he's like look mate we've got this youngster here he could be the next freaking Eden Hazard even though Eden Hazard has fell off like he's jumped off a cliff and not been able to climb back up it but we're looking at the next Eden Hazard here bring him into the first team so I did I haven't played him but then I decided to play him and he's, he's, he's doing well and the Champions League we beat Red Bull Salzburg 1-0 uh, which enabled us to qualify to the knockout stages so we are already through into the knockout stages Max Cruz scored again it's, it's weird this guy just scores at random times as I said we'll talk about him in a minute against Augsburg a very very intense game one of the, my favorite games of, of the season I wish I recorded it however I didn't um, as I we on the score sheet again uh, Barbosa scored in the third minute and Sherlock on the score sheet so all wing the both wingers and our striker getting the goal in that game which is very good to see and against Frankfurt we beat them 2-0 at home at the Volkswagen Arena of Reina and Barbosa on the score sheet in that game so yeah it's been very fun and um, so you're probably wondering where does that leave us on the table well we are second still five points behind Bayern Munich we do need to knock Bayern off the throne of the Bundesliga because it, it's just annoying ain't it? it just is it just is I can imagine how um whoa just noticed something there in a minute um but we'll go for that in a minute but yeah we're, we're second um which is all good, I guess. Mines are third. Mines having a good, good season so far after 13 games, 23 points. A Cone in the Champions League position as well, um, with 22 points. Leverkusen down there in fifth, and sixth is Dortmund. So these two um, securing uh, the European position right now, Europa League, should I say? But yeah, I don't think the season's going to end like this. I think we will see my um, Leverkusen and Dortmund push up to third and fourth. Uh, maybe Mines and Cone because of the season they're having, along with Stuttgart. I think it's between them three to get fifth, um, to get four. No, to get fifth and sixth. Sorry. Um, but Schalke, I just don't see them um, getting anywhere near there. They, they're right down there, not having a good season at all. To be fair, it, you know, in, it's come across my mind a few times, you know, oh, Schalke would be an amazing team to manage. Can't do that! Because they're rivals to Dortmund, so um, I'll never ever lay foot in Schalke's team ever. Um, I'll, I'll still play as of them, but, you know, never never would I manage them. And glad back there down there as well, not having a good season. And Hoffenheim surprises. <gasps> Bruh. Also, what I noticed, if you look down here, the Premier League has dropped to second and the La Liga is first. That is not true at all, but okay then. Going to take a look at the under-19s here quickly. As I mentioned, Sebastian Jung is down there due to an injury. He's still out for about two to three months. So again, he won't be back till maybe uh, February, March time. Uh, March time. So yeah, I don't know. I think his season is pretty much over because I don't think he'll be in any sort of form when he comes back um, and these stats are all just decreasing as well so it's not looking good for him and Maximilian Arnold got into an argument with me, with me so I just dropped him straight back down to the under 21 um, so he can play there for a bit I don't know if he's still upset with me yeah he is um, let's go to information see what he has to say has ambitions to win the Bundesliga fair enough um, but wants to win a trophy and is excited at the team's chance in the DFB Polkow is enjoying playing for the club pleased with the training unhappy to be placed in the under 19s I placed him there because I wanted him to play um, but we had an argument so he's staying there until maybe maybe January um, I'll see how I feel about that um, and that's pretty much it for the under 19 
Uh, Marcel Schaffer has been dropped down to the Wolfsburg second squad. You're wondering why? Um, well, in the under, if the if he plays in the second squad, not only will he get first team football and, and do very well, um, he he will actually you know get the game time that he is crying out for. But unfortunately, I can't give him that because we have better and bigger options in our first team right now who play on the left hand side at the back. However, you know, he has got good stats. We can see he's just decreasing and decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. And that's not due to him not playing. I think that's due to his age because um, another player that is decreasing, I'll show you in a minute, um, is also probably getting affected by his age as well. So, um, yeah, but he's going to be playing there for, for quite a bit. He has played there before. If you take a look here, you can see he has played um, in the 13-14 season. He played for the second team twice. Um, had, one, had scored one goal as well. Um, then I think we moved him up from the um, second team as it looks like um, and then now I've dropped him back down so that's kind of what's happened with him. Viarina is um, the guy that I was talking about who's probably getting affected by age because he's training fine, he's playing amazingly well. Um, however, his stats are just all decreasing and I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. Um, and he's 29 years of age, which means, you know, he's not the oldest, he's not the youngest, he's kind of there. But he's more on the edge of the older side. Um, so I don't really know what I'm doing with him, to be honest. I'm still going to keep him, I'm not going to sell him or anything. That would be really stupid considering the form that he's in right now. Um, you can see he's had uh, 10 appearances, 3 goals, 5 assists. So he's, he's doing very well. So I wouldn't sell him because of, because of some, something so small like that. But um, we'll have to see what happens with him. Kolasinac is playing amazingly well um, from since he signed with us. He's, he's just been, for me anyway, just been solid on the back. Uh, also, another key player to take a look at is um, Noke. Noke has actually been screaming at me for first team football. I've given him first team football over the last couple of months, and it's actually been really, he's been really, really, really solid in the back. Um, we haven't conceded many goals since he's been playing as well. Um, and I, I mentioned this, I thought the partnership would be between Naldo and, and Dante because they've both got strong presence, they're tall players, strong players, and they've actually got good um, jump reach and heading accuracy. However, it didn't work. It's not been working, but since Noke has been playing, he's played five games, um, he's been he's done well. He just has. Um, speaking of Naldo, he's actually wanted by AS Monaco. They put in a transfer bid, actually, on transfer deadline day, which I rejected. And um, he's not going that way. He's not going. Not going. Because just not. Just don't want him to. He's, he's staying. He's definitely staying. Um, any other performances to take you through? Uh... That's it, really. Not the strongest bench, to be fair. Jeez, four players, goodness me. Oh, well, four out four players. That's great, because everyone else is unregistered. Um, so, yeah, we've got Gabriel Barbosa up front, Sherl on the left, Draxler behind, got Barbosa, Verena on the right. Uh, then we've got Gustavo and Klassen in midfield. This partnership has worked very well, so I'm quite happy with this. Um, Hinto Regra on the left there. Dante Noke in defence. Nacho playing on the right. So it would be uh, Villarena, and then I probably would have played um, Barbosa on the right. But yeah, I thought Villarena does play better as a winger than a uh, wing back, so that's what we're going to be using. And then we've got Benaglio in goal. Um, for Porto side, we've got um, Osvaldo up front. Brahimi on the left, Teo on the right, Herrera and Andre Andre in midfield, Ibuala is kind of there in between the midfield and the defence. Then we've got Jose Angel, Mar Martins Indy, he was actually looking to leave Porto in, in the summer, just guess it didn't happen. Uh, we've got Malcolm as well and then Maxi Pereira on the right and Casillas in goal. Uh, cool. Well, I've told the players to just ignore the media's um, praise and stuff like that and just focus and play their natural football because um, that will get us the results we need. And I think they've um, agreed. Class in. Go on, mate. Pump that down. Gabriel's got that. Over to... Oh, try to switch over to Verena. Jose Ango with the interception. We've got tackle Andre. Andre with a banger. And Benaglio was able to make the save. Viarena with a cross here. Pereira gets the ball. Malcolm Porto looking to go on the counter here. Um, very slow build up though. Andre, Andre to Teo to Osvaldo. They're picking it up now. Oh, we get the tackle in. Class in to Gabriel to Scherler. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Get for that's it. Come on. Oh, the dribbling. Drax was going to take a shot. 
and a great tackle there. Osvaldo over to Brahimi. Oh, what a cross there from freaking who was that? Was it Teo? I forgot. Oh, it was, it was, it was, I can't remember who did it. I can't remember who did it, but it was nice. It was Osvaldo. Gee whiz. He was left open. Kiva couldn't do that. Brahimi scores. Oh, we're giving the ball away too much in this game. Teo's bombing it forward. Osvaldo having a good game. Teo out wide to Angel. Saw that. Cross into Osvaldo. Oh, no. Brahimi gets his second goal of the game. Um, from a rebound header, it looks like, from Osvaldo. That was really poor. Oh, come on, lads. We need to get our heads in the game here a little bit. We're giving away possession. This ain't, this ain't good. I'm going to go on the uh, counter. In below, someone, someone clear it out, Martin Zindi, someone clear it, clear it! Uh, flicking hell. Brahimi with a cross, Benaglio gets the ball. Is this a counter for Wolfsburg? Benaglio taking his dear sweet time and doesn't get it to Scherler. <laughs> Just waste of a kick. Brahimi out wide to Pereira. Oh, Osvaldo, Teo, and the keeper with a fantastic save, keeping us, well, not even keeping us in the game, it's just 2-0, ain't it, we're just down. Uh, Klassen with the header out wide, Josie Angel to Andre, 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 Andre to Brahimi, crosses that in, Malcolm was left open, and what's happened, Malcolm has been ruled offside, I'm going to make a substitution now. Brahimi, out wide to Maxi Pereira, crosses that in, and Abuka, or whatever his name is, I'll be back a gets a goal and it's 3-0. This has been a poor, poor game. We have played absolutely horrible. Like, there's just no interest. Okay, we qualified in that, so the players are probably thinking, oh, we've already qualified, so we don't need to win. Nah, I don't care. We need to do well. What is going on? Like, can't just let a freaking, you know, oh, we've qualified. Get to your head. Like, oh, it's just annoying. Just is. Yeah, end the game referee because that was absolutely appalling. That was a horrible game. We got absolutely bullied in that game. I don't even think we had a highlight where we took a shot on goal. That was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Let's take a look at the shots. We had seven shots, three on target. They had 59% of the possession, 25. Now we got, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Oh, look who stepped into the manager's office, hasn't he? He's, at, he's complaining about first team football. Why are you crap? That's why you're not playing. Ah. Uh, I'm afraid when I gave you a chance to show me what you could do, you didn't take it. I can't afford risking. Yep, there we go. That's one. That was it, and this is now. You can't just write me off based on a f on a few poor performances. Are you crazy? Are you oh, no? Are you okay? Like, are you no? Hmm. I don't really see why I'd stay at the club based on that. Uh, if that's how you feel, then probably best we leave. Leave really. Um, you leave really. I'll find a new club. Yep. I can't really. Yeah, I don't care. Just. I'm not forcing you out of the club. You just haven't played well. What do you want me to do? Like, it's so stupid how he's crying and being like, oh, you know, um, I have. I can't base it off a few performances because you know, um, that was then. This is now. But. Yeah, and I'm like, well, do you know what? It's best that you just leave because you're not playing well. You can cry about first in football. It's best I find a deal for you. I'm free and forced out of the club. I'm telling everyone in the media. I'm telling my mum. Piss off! I'm hoping that our last performance doesn't get into our heads and ruins this performance. But um, this is the team we're going up with. Got Cruz up front. Uh, Sherlock on the left, Draxler, the, the, they stay in the first team. The change on the right is Azui. Um, it was obviously illegible, so he's going to be playing. You're going to be seeing Azui if he can do something in this game. Krasin and Gustavo, obviously, in midfield. Then we've got Kolasinac, Dante, Naldo. Uh, Naldo and Dante sharing centre half there. I'm going to change it up a little bit. And Viorena on the right in the um, wing back position there. And Benaglio stays in goal. Um, only worry in this game for me is probably Otsunali. And Pizarro, everyone else, not to say that they're not a threat, but I don't know too much about them, so we're going to have to see what happens in the game. Oh, Matt Scrooge, you better perform. You better just perform. I'm telling you now, mate, you better just get in there. Oh, a highlight already. Gustavo gets a tackle in from behind. Over to Cruz. Cruz got no one next to him. He's going to fight. No, he just get, gets tackled by Otsunali. Now they're intercepts. They're over to Cruz. Cruz bombing forward. Passes back to Scherler. Scherler looks for a pass forward to Draxler. Draxler to Ozui, and he hits the crossbar. This kid is immense. Holy crap. New kid on the block. Uja 
someone get to it? No, Pizarro gets to it. Uja. Out wide to Fritz. He was left wide open. And Shirley intercept the ball there. Down to Azui. Azui's pacing it forward. Got pace for weeks. Got weekends on pace. Oh, it doesn't get forward though. Doesn't get the ball forward. Gets the tackle in. Uja bombing it down. Uja bombing it down. Who do you think you is? Done. It's 1-0. Great play there. Great set piece there. 1-0. It's like to see Draxon on the score sheet as well. He's not been he's not he's not he's playing bad, but he hasn't got his name on the score sheet as much as I thought he would have this season. But it's nice to see him in the score sheet at live com. So yeah, 1 0. Pizarro. Former Bayern man. Usual. Oh, that was dirty. That was all dirty! Fritz with the goal. Oh, we can see just before half time. That is so annoying. Uja left him. I think that was Verena. I don't even know who that was, but you got Lair. Fritz with the bang, though. And that is 1 1. Oh, it's not great. Zoomies forward. Cruz. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Wow. Verena, come on, mate. Come on, mate. Pizarro, come on. Nuts. Oh, my lord. Are you serious right now? Are you actually being for real? Are you actually. No, are you actually being serious? That counter was so calm. Are you actually being for real? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Our defense. Oh, Naldo and Dante are so bad together. I thought it'd be amazing. Oh my lord. I don't know what to do with my life. Cruz gets the ball. Colour Sinak. Down to Sherla. Sherla to Cruz. Cruz finished this. Oh my god. This is why I need to sell you. This is why I need to sell you. I can't deal with this. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. My voice just cracked. I can't. The defense is so bad in this game. We're not even awake. Has our season literally gone from good to worse in the next, last just two games? <sighs> Nacho to Gustavo. Kolasinac to Gustavo to Klassen. Draxler down wide to Nacho to Gabriel. This is good movement here and Draxler scores, but it doesn't really matter. It's 4-2 in the 67th minute. Two goals in the, in the next couple of minutes. would Another goal in the next couple of minutes would be nice. And uh, I think um, Weedle would save that into the back of the net there. Ah, uh, maybe I should just, just go back to attacking and see, and see what happens. Oh, loses the ball. Sherla's on the ball here. Down to Cruz. Ah, uh, Vestergaard takes a tackle in there. Could have... We could have been. We could have had a chance to get a comeback here. They're bombing it forward. They're very scary on the counter here. Fritz, what was that? What was that? Keep had that all day long. And that was just a waste of an opportunity, too, weren't it? Cruz with a free kick doesn't do anything. Fritz gets it out. That is disgusting. I am absolutely. Oh, I'm livid right now. I'm livid. Don't sound it. Um, but that was just poor. That was honestly poor. Um, which now means that we're still five points behind Bayern Munich. Um, I think they play. Have they played? I'm not too sure. Let's go check. Oh, the, the game. We, we can still be five points behind Bayern. But what that annoys me because we had the chance right there to close the gap even more. Um, and be um, two points behind Bayern Munich. And now... I'm just hoping they lose. I don't even want them to draw, I just want them to lose. Come on, Dortmund, my team, come on. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, that is so, that is so annoying. <laughs> 1 0. Uh, Dortmund lose at home to Bayern Munich. The scorer was Thomas Muller in the 62nd minute. Eesh, 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 eesh. Very even game, I, I suppose, but that's, that's harsh. Oh, the gap between us and Bayern Munich has just increased. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. It's not the turn for the worst because I believe that we will pick ourselves back up. Um, actually, I need to go take a look at the schedule so I can tell you when we're going to come back for the next episode. 
Um, that's two dents in, in our season so far. We're doing so well since the loss against Bayern Munich here. Um, mm, probably going to do the uh, Leverkusen double here. Um, I think, think, think that's what I might do. So join me for that. And I'll see you next time. Peace.